Welcome to another episode of my favorite segment, Free Education Friday. All right, and this segment, we are in New York with it. All right, guys, I'm going to give you this super important information, but it's really how developers hedge the market. It's how we see things coming before they actually start. If you're on the land bank team, you already know, go invest in these places as soon as these articles come out so that you guys can now be ahead of the market. You're going to buy properties as low as $1,000. And once this semiconductor thing hits, they're going to be worth so much more money. So guys, look, let's jump right in. Like, subscribe on YouTube, um, follow on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, everywhere they have podcasts, we are there. Even iHeart, even iHeart Radio. And just recently, Pandora picked us up too. I didn't even know that. All right, let's jump right in. Free Education Friday, let's go. So I read, I read every day. I read this real estate stuff every single day and it helps me hedge the market. It tells me where to go invest before the investments actually take place. Upstate New York aims to turbocharge growth with a tech hub bid. This article is going to include information from stuff that Senator Chuck Schumer is working on. Okay, I'm going to do a quick read on it and then I'm going to tell you where to buy the houses and show you how inexpensive they actually are. <clears throat> Upstate New York has been trying to bolster its presence in the semiconductor industry and will get a major shot in the arm towards that effort if chosen as a tech hub. Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse have submitted a joint application to the United States Economic Development Agency, which will designate 20 tech hubs around the country as part of a competitive selection process. The EDA is part of the United States Department of Commerce and is overseeing this process. Senator Chuck Schumer, whose party I go to every year in uh, Prospect Park, said if Upstate is chosen for a tech hub as part of its bid to obtain up to $75 million in targeted federal funding, the designation would turn the I-90 corridor from Buffalo to Syracuse into America's semiconductor superhighway. <laughs> now, guys, look. You have to start you have to start to read this stuff and understand what is happening. You got to start to understand what's going on. Senator is trying to push a 75 million dollar tech hub into this upstate corridor. So here's what I would do if I were you. If I were an investor, if I were behind, if I was just a little bit behind in retirement, if I wanted to leave something that's really valuable, generational wealth, uh, if I wanted to leave properties for my kids, properties for a nonprofit, what this article is saying is Syracuse is strongly trying to change. The upstate New York reason, region is strongly trying to make change. And it's just a matter of hitting one. Once they become the tech hub, everything else starts to pour back into the community, into the area. So what I did was free education Friday, right? What I'm going to show you guys right now is the Greater New York Syracuse Land Bank website. And I'm gonna show you how they have properties as low as $1,000. I love this um, land bank because it's easy to buy. Um, on the land bank team, we know we go through the applications, the contractors, the scope of work. We go through everything and make any purchase of a land bank property fairly simple because we do the work up front, just like I'm doing this research and just giving it to you guys on Free Education Friday. So let's get to it. <clears throat> you go to Greater Syracuse Land Bank, right? You're going to click on Purchase Properties. Then you're going to go to Find All Properties. They're going to show you right here. Here's a property at 10,000, 5,000. They have 152-54 Kenmore, $1,000. That is a single family with five beds. All right, so guys on the land bank team, don't go crazy because y'all know government-based programs uh, program based housing where you can rent these things out for, um, to programs for like $1,000, $2,000 per room. So we're looking at five rooms. All right. Like this is just wild and crazy for you guys. Then we got one, two, six McKinney's so three family, five bedrooms, three bathrooms, do what you want with the information, but I'm just here to give it to you. It's free education Friday. And my role on my role on free education Friday is to give you guys enough free information to go crazy with it, right? I'm giving you the information. You already got the website, the news article, do some research on that. 
I just gave you the website, but as we go through it, just start to think, imagine, and envision in your mind what you could potentially do with these properties. Um, if you're on the land bank team, you guys know we're, 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 we are going into program-based housing where you might be able to take that five-bedroom property and rent out each to a program. I don't want to go too deep in land bank team member stuff, but just on the surface level of the land bank itself, the Syracuse land bank, greater Syracuse land bank is phenomenal. You got more properties for a thousand, nine thousand, just twelve thousand dollars. This one on Valley Drive is like already in really good condition. Hey, if you like the information I'm giving you so far and you want to watch the rest of this video and get a full comprehensive understanding of what I'm teaching, hop on over to YouTube. Um, the Land Bank Show is our podcast channel. Let's go. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy this free education. Thank you. So, hey, I want to dispel one of the myths to you guys, right? People see my content and sometimes I get feedback. The houses are trash. The houses are, are, are in such poor conditions. Well, on this land bank, and that's just, that may just be one land bank in your experience with one property. I encourage you guys take a deep dive because if you look right here on this website, you're able to see land bank properties that look good. Like this one, 709 Valley Drive, 7,500 single family, three bed, one full bath. This is not a bad looking property, right? You, you got to do the research, do a little bit more digging, going inside and out. Then you got for, <laughs> I love this property, guys. I did the homework on this one before. Here's a three family on Rich Street for $1,000. Yes, please pull over, take a look <laughs> at the screen, whatever you're doing, stop. Here it, it, for my program, uh, based programs, right? For my program based people, right? I know your alarms are going off. This is like absolutely crazy, but yes, I just showed you where you could get a three family house for $1,000. And then we backed it up with the detailed information on the gentrification or the turn of the, uh, in, of the city of the neighborhood. Here's something else. And we going to go special. Look, if you are um, interested in more information like this, hop on over to YouTube and watch the entire video. Um, I just found a neighboring property. So we got 215 Ridge Street, three family, seven bedrooms, but right across the street is 216 Ridge Street. <laughs> All right, guys, I can't like, this is the actual government website, the Greater Syracuse Land Bank. Please go look it up. Um, if you want more information on how to buy these properties, if you want information on how to do research, development, um, click the link in my bio on Instagram, Charles J. Noonan. And we got all sorts of stuff. There's an ebook. Uh, you can join the land bank team. It's all kind of stuff that'll make you um, intelligent, make you make educated decisions on buying properties like this. But at a very minimum, if Syracuse does not get that semiconductor contract, a three bedroom, a three family house at $1,000 is phenomenal at any level. If you know what we know on the land bank team, enjoy your Friday. That is going to end this segment of free education Fridays. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy your Friday tap in like follow, share this video and subscribe to the land bank show on YouTube and everywhere else that they have podcasts. Thank you.